What's up guys, Chris Chavez here with DroidStrike.com. Today I have a cool little utility type app. It's called Visual Task Switcher. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing the full version. Um, and it comes to you courtesy of ESD Mobile. Now what this game does, or <laughs> what this app does, is if you've ever seen maybe like the Palm Pre or the WebOS type stuff, uh, they have a card or little thumbnail versions of everything that's open in the background, like all your apps and stuff. Um, it's kind of like a visual representation of the tasks and apps that you have open. Um, and you can kind of switch through them and stuff. This one is cool because normally when you long press the home button, this gives you the icon of whatever's running. This will actually show uh, a thumbnail of exactly what's open and running. Um, kind of seems a little weird, but uh, there are some other cool little useful things like long pressing on a thumbnail will actually... Uh, close or kill that app that's running in the background, so it's kind of like a task killer in a way. Um, yeah, so sit back and check out my review on it. Alright, so let's check out Visual Task Switcher. Now, upon opening that, basically what it's going to do is it's going to show you your most or most recent apps, but it's going to show them in the form of like little thumbnails. Um, some people call it the card view from... Uh, let's see, let's open up some apps first. Do, 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 do. Uh, virtual recorder now visual test switcher okay so now what it does is it shows you I guess little thumbnails or like a type of card view sort of like webOS um, of your most recent used apps uh, kind of neat because it does do that um, the load time takes a little bit longer, and I'm not sure how it's getting the thumbnails. I'm not sure if it's actually slowing down some of the processes uh, by taking a snapshot every time you open up an app or every time you exit an app. I'm not really too sure on that. Um, I do feel like it might be slowing down the system a little bit. not really too sure if that's just placebo. But um, I think it's kind of neat that they do have them here, and uh, once you gather up a bunch of them, you can just kind of scroll between them and see which ones, you know, whatever apps that you have opened and um, just cycle through them by doing that. Um, doesn't really work too well there. Oh, you actually do have to set it up and everything to um, take the place of your home button. Let's go ahead and check out some of the settings here. Uh, launch key, that will be what you want to launch it. Uh, home key single press or search key long press. Uh, let's just go like that. Uh, nope, not really working out too well there. Uh, default home screen, uh, some more settings, launcher, go to home. Um, I want that one. And let's see. It's still not really working. Um, working kind of strange on my phone. Uh, it could be the ROM that I'm using. I know some, some ROMs it actually was working fine. And I did kind of like it, just didn't really like the weird load time and stuff that it took. Um, to take the snapshots and stuff, but uh, if this is your cup of tea, you just want something to kind of spruce up your ROM a little bit more or your the UI on your phone, uh, you could use this. It's kind of neat, like a little WebOS type thing. Uh, options are pretty easy to use. It's pretty simple. You just install and use it to take the place of your home button. Not really too much to it, so um, I think it's kind of neat. Uh, if I didn't feel like it was bogging down my phone at all, other than that, not too bad at all. Oh look, oh we just killed the app. Um, long pressing. You could actually kill some apps by doing that, by long pressing them, which is kind of cool, almost like a task manager. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, so that's it, that's Visual Task Manager. Or Visual Task Switcher. Okay, so that was Visual Task Switcher full version, uh, and it comes to you from ESD Mobile. Uh, pretty useful little app if you want to use it in a number of ways. Uh, it's cool just to have a little thumbnail version to see whatever's open and running on your uh, phone, and it's cool that you can long press and kill those background apps or whatever that's open, um, so it kind of has a double function of, um, I guess, like a task killer. But yeah, I thought it was pretty cool, pretty helpful. You may like it too, so check it out on the market. I'm Chris Chavez. Thank you guys for watching TroidStrike.com, and I'll see you guys next time.